that he chose this school. He chose uh, the, the school where we are today, and he's going to be probably in, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 of these every week. But he chose this school to make his maiden voyage into it. That's you guys, and you should be really honored that that happened. We've got a lot of 18, 17 year old guys out here and gals. What would you say to them in terms of making career decisions that could involve the military? So I would say that the military uh, is something that's 100% worth looking into. And I, I don't say that because I stand here um, and then wearing the uniform uh, in front of you all. I, it's something that I think is worth exploring as a young, a young person. What does it mean to receive the Medal of Honor? Uh, you know, it's a extraordinary humbling, um, and it, it's not something that I've actually truly hadn't sunk in yet, I don't think. Uh, but, but ultimately what it, what it has done, and something that I'm grateful for, is the opportunity to, to speak with young people like I did today, and, and, and hopefully you know, provide a message of support and an opportunity for them uh, you know, to better their future and, and find a, you know, a path of service. And I think that's something very important um, for, for young people to consider these days. You know, it was, it was brought to my attention, um, the, the program they have here with the Army ROTC and, and everything that they're doing um, for the kids and, and the military and, the, and what the military provides the young people. And, and I thought it was a great opportunity to, to kind of, you know, spread the message of, of teamwork and, and loyalty and, and what the Army provides, uh, you know, kids uh, coming out of high school and, and the opportunities that they have moving forward in, in their young lives. How hard is it to feel like you took so many people's lives? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Relax, relax, relax. You know, it's something that you have to do, um, and you separate yourselves from it, right? And, and for us, for me, and the job that I chose to do, um, I knew that that was going to be a position that I was going to put myself in, and it's because you know, those decisions I have to make, um, you know, are, and are in direct concert with what the decision that somebody else has made to me, or to my family, or to my country. Um, and I absolutely have no issue with putting people uh, like that in their place if they are, you know, doing harm to the country, doing harm to my family, doing harm to myself, doing harm to my brothers, to my unit. Um, that's something that I understand and, and, and am willing to do. And I think it's 100% right to do for, for the country and for our community. Thank you. Mm -hmm. When you talk to heroes like this, it, it, you'd expect that to be life changing. But others, they all have that thing. Once you develop a relationship with someone from the military, they kind of have your back. I grew up wanting to serve, uh, like I said, and, and I always wanted to do law enforcement, things of that nature. Um, when I was in college, 9-11 happened, and that, that's what kind of drove me to, to join the military. I, I saw our country was in need, uh, we were at war, and, and I felt it was the right thing to do for me. Um, and I, I joined, um, and I really still had that opportunity, uh, that, that want to go back to law enforcement. Um, and I joined the military and I loved it, and I, I kept just re-enlisting and, and having fun and re-enlisting again, and, and I'm here today, 14 years later. Um, as far as young people consider the military, I think it's, it's an invaluable opportunity to, to better yourself, to learn some, some of the traits that, that develop leaders and, and future leaders, um, just like we said, just like the, the senator here. Um, you know, those years of service really mold you um, at a young age and, and teach you values that will get you far in life, and I think that's very important.